it is close to a year or it's about a year around the year that I've graduated boot camp and I was doing a little bit of reflection and I wanted to kind of come on here and just let you guys know what I would have done differently knowing what I know now as a full-time engineer so yeah here's a couple of things I would do differently Hey everyone, welcome, bienvenidos and wagwan. It's your girl Jovi and I'm back with another video. Thank you so much for tuning in today. As you can see, my atmosphere is a little bit different. I am at the Riviera Suites Hotel in Miami Beach, Florida. I'm in their penthouse suite. Let me tell y'all. This is not a sponsored video, but I just wanted to give them a quick shout out to let them know um, that, that they really uh, did their best to treat me like a queen it was really it was my stay here was nothing less than extraordinary so um if you're looking to come to the miami beach area riviera suites hotel is pretty dope um i think you should check them out but anyway moving right on into the video so the first thing i would do differently is I would, and I've said this before on my channel too, I would have studied JavaScript a lot more before joining the bootcamp, before starting, excuse me. Um, I feel like a lot of uh, bootcamp pre-work, they talk a lot about, you know, HTML and CSS, and they just focus on that, and they don't really get into any, to much of the Java JavaScript essentials. So I have a problem with that. <laughs> Um, you should really, really, really know the essentials of JavaScript before going to bootcamp because what's going to happen is the bootcamp is moved at such a fast pace that you're not even realizing that you're not able to um, contain all of the information. So when I say JavaScript essentials, I mean things like, you know, operators, loops, arrays, you know, um, if statements all of those things you should have some idea of how they work and what they do before joining so if i were to turn back time i definitely would have gotten to javascript a little bit more um before joining okay so the next thing that i would do differently and i know some people are probably going to disagree but i personally would have interviewed while i was in boot camp i think that was one major mistake that i made i should have been proactive about you know, doing mock interviews, definitely learning what the process looks like in in terms of like interviewing for us for an engineer program or for an engineering job. Right. Because what happened was I graduated and my first like major interview was with my first interview in general was with Spotify and eight interviews later. First of all, I didn't even know it was going to be that long. I didn't, I didn't really go in knowing the process. I didn't know much about systems design. I definitely wasn't studying my algo, my algos and data structures. The behaviorals weren't bad, obviously, because those are the things I expect. But um, it's better in this industry to just fail fast. That's my opinion on it. If I would have practiced the interviewing process while in boot camp, I wouldn't have been thrown for a loop when I had like some of the bigger interviews. So definitely, definitely, definitely would have participated in some sort of mock um, interviewing, some getting getting my hands dirty with like whiteboarding and uh, being able to speak about myself and speak about my projects clearly and concisely yeah i should have definitely <laughs> i should have definitely been in interviewing and not necessarily like i said you could do mock interviewing but you can also do like interviewing for a real job right you really don't have anything to lose if you were to like actually apply for a job and and go on a couple of interviews while you were in boot camp just to get your feet wet um because chances are you're probably not gonna pass not gonna completely pass your first 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 real technical engineering um interview but that's like obviously saying if you didn't practice beforehand so and the last thing that i would have done differently why didn't i take that more seriously but i would have taken my github and my portfolio a little bit more seriously if i could turn back the hands of time definitely would have taken my github and my portfolio a little bit more seriously especially as a boot camp grad you're going up against college grads you're going up against people self-taught learners and when you have your portfolio and your github together it's kind of like you putting your money where your mouth is in terms of talking about your talent so um a lot of people want to see that you're able to build things from scratch work on a team 
contribute to other things, uh, to other code bases and stuff like that. So I would definitely suggest contributing to open source projects. I would definitely have at least two to three solid portfolio um, items, portfolio projects, and then um, definitely making sure your GitHub is up to date, up to par, and very, you know, aesthetically pleasing, if that's even a thing. But just make sure your your GitHub is is you know on and popping, and I would definitely be willing to do a video on what should be in your portfolio and what should be on your GitHub. Just make sure to like and comment this and comment that below, and I'll definitely get on that for you guys. And yeah, those are the th main three things I would would take my portfolio on GitHub seriously. I would have interviewed while I was in boot camp, and I also would have. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes. <laughs> I also would have studied JavaScript before going to boot camp. So those are the three main things that I would have done differently, knowing what I know now. I mean, I still did it, so it's not like detrimental, but I feel like doing those three things could it could save a life. So that's all I have for you now, folks. Thank you so much again for tuning in. I really, really, really appreciate it. Take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe if you felt like this video was helpful. Please share this with your favorite techie. That really does help the algorithm. YouTube just be, you know, doing people dirty in these streets. And I'm trying to help uh, get this, this channel out to as many first gen techies as possible. So thank you for your help. Thank you in advance. And I'll see you next time.